pretty unique to have been in this market for 20 years now with the same senior team experiencing and weathering multiple market cycles. Retaining this collective experience of working through these cycles together is an important resource, especially at a time like this. I would say the most important lesson learned is how to weather a storm by building strong defensive portfolios, regardless of where we are in the cycle. Beware the credit manager that talks about playing a cycle. This asset class does not reward outsized risks. To build a portfolio that will perform through a cycle, there are four key credit elements. Firstly, industry. Avoid industries which are sensitive to cycles, industries like retail, travel, automotive, or industrials with heavy capex or liquidity needs. Instead, look for industries that rely less on consumer trends and are more growing into white space as opposed to being GDP reliant. So industries like healthcare and IT and software businesses with recurrent subscription-like revenues. Secondly, geography. Stick to regions you have a lot of experience in and look for jurisdictions with supportive legal frameworks. The third is the size of companies. We found that the upper mid cap tends to do better in a crisis than smaller local companies. This is because they have a diversification of revenues and products, which gives them more optionality to deal with macroeconomic shocks. And the final key credit element is partner selection. Work with partners with an excellent reputation and who you have a very strong relationship with. In addition, work with partners with proven track records of supporting companies through a crisis. This is the best way to get your money back and to ensure that an investment in this asset class works for you. I've talked about what to invest in, but just as important is monitoring those investments. Developing a disciplined, systematic monitoring framework is key to detecting underperformance and spotting early warning signals. Lenders who identify underperformance early are at an advantage relative to their peers because optionality is higher for the stakeholders and the company itself. So the chance of finding a solution to sustain the company through a difficult period is greater. Certainly a key lesson that we learned through the GFC. As we navigate the current crisis, while some of the drivers are different, the effect on the portfolio companies is similar. And we see again that to weather this storm successfully, it's important Firstly, to be going into the crisis with a strong defensive portfolio. Secondly, to be working with supportive and responsive debt and equity stakeholders. And finally, to behave in a collaborative and socially responsible manner in finding solutions to the immediate issues facing the portfolio companies. Mm -hmm.